Alright, so today I am doing some electrical work uh, on some speakers and I wanted to kind of show you guys some of these banana plugs uh, in terms of what to get and what not to get. So I got two here, this one and this one here. So initially when I looked on Amazon, I looked at a bunch of them and this one had, you know, both of them had actually good reviews. And I'm going to show you guys um, the one I prefer and the one I don't like um, just between the wiring. Um, so I'm going to set you guys down for a second here. Okay, so for this one here, this is the one I don't like, and this is the one I do like. And I'll, I'll have links below in terms of the ones I like. Uh, the ones that I don't like, I'm not going to link it just because I don't like it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys why. So with this one here, uh, the way this one works is you actually have to twist this banana piece off. And there's only, it's just an end piece in here. And what you do with this is, because there's no instructions, and this kind of sucks, is you take your wire here, you're supposed to feed it through, and on here, you're supposed to kind of crimp the end here, where you see how this is kind of like very small, it's supposed to be like an eighth, and you're supposed to bend this down, and it's supposed to go along this little area here without having to touch the screw you're supposed to kind of fan it out like this like singly like this like this right and you're supposed to do it I'm not doing a good job on it but you're supposed to do it this way take this screw it on and you're supposed to screw it down and this is the part that I don't like because one even though once you kind of get it screwed in like this for example you kind of get you kind of like screwing the wire a little bit and you kind of have okay so like now this is a connection right so with this if you if I tug on it hard enough right the wires will slowly kind of like back out and I don't really like that some people do some people don't um, and I find this actually a lot harder because what you're doing is um, you have to kind of crimp it back push it back uh, it works for sure but I don't like this so this banana plug I don't like this other one though I do like and this one basically you have a screw here and a screw here that holds in the wire so the way this works is it comes in empty like this you take your end piece here push it in all the way here right you take these screws here and they have an end to them you kinda just pre-screw them here Alright, so you take this, uh, you put the screw in here, and you kind of screw it down. And I like this one a lot more because I know that um, this metal piece is going to contact the electric wire here for sure. And it's actually like, you know, you can tighten it down really tight. And it's really tight. And the other thing is it has it on the other side too, right? So you have really like two good contact points uh, on here, right? So if you're doing any uh, electrical work for speakers, I really highly recommend this right here. Definitely this brand. Uh, I'll definitely link this below. The cool thing is it comes in this nice little, you know, layout here. It comes black, oh, I'm sorry, black here and red here so you know your uh, negative and positives. Same thing with this. This is ha does have a, a black and red indicator, but like I said, I don't like the screw-in version because it definitely can come off if you pull it. And you have to kind of do all this work. This one here is way easier. You can just trim it, put it in, two screws, and that's it. And this is good to go here. All right, guys, and that's a, a quick how-to video in terms of how to wire uh, these banana plugs and which ones to use and which ones not to use. Um, there's also uh, a few other varieties, but like I said, I like the screw-on versions way better um, than these other ones here. So just FYI, when you're shopping around, you can save a couple bucks by just actually picking the right one here. So 